Hello, and welcome to the online learning module entitled Building Blocks, Topic, Strategy, Organizing, and Outlining. This is one of the most important lessons you will learn on your journey to effective speech. I believe that if you can properly organize a speech on paper, you will be well on your way to effective delivery. This OLM will cover the basics involved in choosing a topic, identifying a strategy, organizational strategies for speeches, and outlining. The first segment in this module is topic. But before we begin, begin topic, we need to understand how our path to effective public speaking begins with the concept of strategy. Strategy, as seen in this picture, is essentially a series of good choices. Formally defined, strategy is an identification of the objectives to be sought in a speech and the means for achieving them. If you begin making good choices for all of your speech objectives and continue to do so throughout the speech process, you will deliver a solid, supported, well-delivered speech. Because of the importance of this concept of strategy, we will see this visual picture represented numerous times throughout the semester. Now that we've learned about the concept of strategy, let's now begin to understand the first step in our series of good to choices, topic selection. Take a look at the customer in the speech topic megastore. He is currently browsing through a shelf of potential speech topics. In a moment, I'll ask you to stop the video and take a look at this picture. What does it say to you in terms of topic selection? Does it say to you that there are tons of topics to choose from? Does it speak to you about the value of subtopics? What else does this picture say? Pause now and jot down in your notes what the picture says to you, and we will discuss it during our next classroom meeting. Understanding that there are lots of topics to choose from, we need to specific specifically address how we go about making a topic selection. There are lots of ways to choose a topic, and you are encouraged to choose a topic that meets your needs using one of these methods, brainstorming, mind mapping, word association, and research. For this module and the next module, you will be using a consistent activity to practice the skills that you are learning within the module. You are encouraged to download the worksheet as this will become a few of your homework assignments. Our first step in this activity worksheet is to choose a subtopic from the umbrella topic of September 11th, 2001. Pause this video for a moment and consider your subtopic. After you've paused it and considered your subtopic, restart the video after jotting down the subtopic. For the sake of our discussions, I will choose airport security as my subtopic. Now that we are focusing on our chosen topic, we will now move our discussion to step two, the rhetorical purpose. Essentially, the rhetorical purpose is the goal of your speech. Your next good choice is to decide how you want your speech to affect your audience. Let's consider the example of Amber. Amber is a theater arts major at your university. She chooses theater arts as her topic for your speech, for her speech. As you are making good choices, you need to narrow further your speech by you need to further narrow your speech down by identifying which rhetorical purpose you want to represent your information. Typically, when dealing with a speech situation, you have three rhetorical purposes to choose from. To inform, to persuade, or to entertain or mark a special occasion. To inform means to increase your listener's understanding of your topic. When you would like to convince your listeners to consider a new position, strengthen or weaken a belief, or to take action, you are persuading your audience. Finally, the rhetorical purpose when you are honoring an occasion or entertaining is when you are honoring or entertaining by inspiring or moving your listeners is to mark a special occasion. Think back to Amber, our theater arts major. Amber, over the course of the semester, chooses to deliver three speeches about theater arts. 
But because of the three different goals of this speech course, Amber can narrow down her topic based on the desired effect. For this first speech, Amber informs her classmates about the theater arts major. Later in the semester, Amber will persuade her audience through a speech to attend a class play. And finally, Amber celebrates her favorite director by roasting him. As you are choosing your topic, it's important to understand what your rhetorical purpose is. Many times your rhetorical purpose will be determined for you. For example, all of your speeches in my course will provide you with a rhetorical purpose. Sometimes the speaking situation, the context, or even your speech host will provide you with your rhetorical purpose. In a moment, you'll be asked to pause the video so that you can choose your rhetorical purpose. Please choose either to inform or to persuade. Pause your video now. Thank you. To continue with our example, I have chosen the rhetorical purpose of to inform. Our third step on our path to effective public speaking is to identify a specific purpose. The specific purpose is the speech objective presented in a single sentence and it focuses on the speech development. The specific purpose allows the speaker to continue to narrow the focus of your speech. When you're crafting your specific purpose, please make sure that you choose language indicating what you hope to accomplish within your speech. Additionally, it's important to note that all specific purposes begin with the rhetorical purpose. On the next slide, you will be asked to identify your specific purpose for the speech you are creating based on September 11, 2001. Pause the video now taking note as to the specific purpose I have chosen for my speech activity. Step number four is drafting your thesis statement. Now, before we get any further into this discussion, I want you to remove any preconceived notions or information you have about writing a thesis for the purposes of your public speaking class. Writing a thesis for this speech is much different than writing one for a paper. When we draft our thesis statement, we must make sure we adhere to these rules. The thesis statement needs to be a single sentence that expresses the speaker's intentions. The thesis statement must remain consistent with the specific purpose, with the focus on the central idea of the bottom line of the speech. These next few slides depict examples of wrong and correct thesis statements as well as some sample statements for this course. Here are some sample, sample thesis statements. Finally, before we begin to practice our thesis statements, we need to understand the difference between our specific purpose and our thesis statements. Essentially, if we remember that the specific purpose is the objective of our speech and begins with the rhetorical purpose and indicates what you hope to accomplish in your speech. Then, we can keep in mind, we will recall that the thesis is one sentence indicating what your speech is about. The thesis statement is the bottom line of your speech. This slide now shows how we should assure that our specific purpose and our thesis statements are in agreement. You'll notice that in the top part of the picture, the specific purpose dog and the thesis statement cat work well together. The specific purpose is persuasive in nature and the thesis statement follows that example. The bottom picture, however, is an example of when a specific purpose and a thesis statement are incongruent with each other. They do not go together. Think about how a specific purpose can be changed to match the thesis statement shown on the bottom picture. Additionally, please make note of the acronym YSDLFMD. This stands for You Should Drink Low-Fat Milk Daily. This statement is a model of which all thesis statements in this course are created. In a moment, you're going to be asked to pause your video and to assure that you create a proper thesis statement using all of the rules we've discussed. Go ahead and pause the video 
and model your thesis statement after YSDLFMD. We have now concluded the video and lesson on topic and strategy. We have concluded our discussion on rhetorical purpose, specific purpose, and thesis statement. We will now be moving on to another video about organizing and then outlining.